All right, a little web weather extra for you tonight, uh, explaining in detail what I'm looking at in this upcoming week because uh, it's going to be a stormy one. A lot of uh, weather details to talk about. We'll go ahead and start with tonight because. Well, the leading edge of the cold air is already starting to slide in for us here across northeastern Ohio and northwestern Pennsylvania. And that paints the picture for problem number one tonight. Of course, we've had all that snow that fell, uh, of course, yesterday and last night, then changing over to the rain and, and then the rain melting off the snow and temperatures above freezing today, helping to drop uh, a lot of puddles across the area. Those are going to refreeze tonight. So uh, anything that is untreated into tomorrow morning could become slippery. Some Thing to think about. Uh, as far as Doppler radar goes, I'm not looking at a whole lot here tonight. I'm expecting a quiet weather night for us, uh, just some clouds around. So we're not going to add much snow on top of what we already have out there as we go through tonight. Uh, that's tonight. Tomorrow's a different story. I'm watching a storm system. It's still way off in the northern plains. And believe it or not, it's going to bring even colder air uh, to the area. And as it sweeps on in here, we'll start to see snow developing, especially in the midday tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that in a little more detail as we get into tomorrow. Uh, this is a look at our future tracker. Now, this is one computer model that we look at. We look at a lot of computer models in weather. And as our job as forecasters is to take these models and actually determine whether they're right or not. But I think there's a pretty good handle here that this uh, model has good uh, as we go into tomorrow. So tonight, we stay dry. I'm just expecting cold temperatures into tomorrow morning. In fact, uh, some clouds around. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to start the day dry. Uh, temperatures in the upper teens, close to 20 degrees to get out the door uh, for your Tuesday morning. But I'm not expecting that snow to start until later morning, midday, and especially on into tomorrow afternoon. Now, this is going to be a steady snow. It's going to be a wet snow. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s, close to 30 degrees here as uh, we get into midday. And as the snow falls throughout the afternoon, it's slowly but surely going to add up for us. So there you go, some of those deeper blues uh, later tomorrow afternoon, uh, showing you the intensity is going to stick around at least until your drive home tomorrow afternoon and on into tomorrow evening before the snow showers wrap up. Now the question, how much snow are we going to see out of this? Now, there's a lot of good consistency here in the different models that I've been looking at uh, that is pointing the picture to about an inch to an inch and a half at least in most spots, a few others upwards to two inches. So this is one of those computer models. This is um, actually what's called the NAM model. Uh, it's giving you an idea that we're looking at anywhere from an inch to just a little over an inch. Now, this is one of the lower end models. And when I say lower end, we're only talking a quarter of an inch a difference between uh, the, the NAM model and uh, the GFS model here that's painting the picture of about an inch and a half to close to two inches in spots on through tomorrow evening. So a little more detail about that. The European model uh, looking at a, a longer range model for us, but it too showing about an inch and a half of snow here. Uh, steady snow expected on into uh, tomorrow evening. So this will be our first round of snow. A couple of inches possible right on into tomorrow evening. Then we'll be looking at cold temperatures because I'll go ahead and take you way off to the northwest. I want to show you what's coming in behind this snow. Really cold air starting to make its way across the northern plains tonight uh, up into International Falls, Minnesota, already below zero. And uh, we're going to be close to that even in our extended forecast a little later this week. But the problem will be as this cold air uh, moves in, it's going to shift the winds around on Lake Erie. So that by the time we get into uh, late Wednesday, Wednesday night, on into Thursday, we're looking at lake effect snow getting going. In fact, I want to go ahead and take you on into uh, the middle of the week here because here we go. Wednesday, uh, the biggest part of the day stays dry, but later in the day into Wednesday evening, here comes your lake effect snow. There you go. 8 o'clock, 8.30, a Wednesday night. You can see how that snow just starts working its way, especially through Trumbull on over to Mercer Counties, your traditional snow belt of northeastern Ohio and northwestern Pennsylvania. And then as we go through Wednesday night and right on into Thursday, you can see how that snow just kind of lays. In fact, I'm going to back this up a little bit, uh, back and forth here, and you can plainly see that snow's just sitting across the northern snow belt. So it's going to add up by quite a bit uh, here later this week. We'll go ahead and take a look at those totals coming up uh, in just a minute on some of those computer models. But that lake effect snow will continue. And yes, cold temperatures uh, right through Thursday and on into Thursday night. And then another storm moves in for the weekend, which again, this is a web weather extra. So we're going to talk about that too uh, here in just a few minutes. But let's go back to the computer models because 
I want to go ahead and take you on uh, with the NAM here to show you as we look ahead on into late week. Now, this is the NAM model showing by Friday at 7 o'clock in the morning. You can see that heavy snow in excess of six inches through northern parts of Trumbull County and also into Mercer County. Now, this is just one model. Um, again, watching for those snow bands to develop first and secondhand to make sure those winds are going to stay in that pattern. Uh, here's another computer model uh, showing you by Friday evening, uh, four, five, six inches, still pretty steady potential there across the northern snow belt. And then uh, the European model, and I just show these to you just so you can see what I'm looking at as well as far as what these models are trying to paint the picture for us here uh, later this week. Uh, there's Thursday, Friday, and uh, on into uh, Friday evening. And again, the northern snow belt is where the trouble is going to be. Now, some of these snow bands will start dropping southward as we get into Thursday, Thursday afternoon. We're going to get a break Friday, and then I said it was a stormy forecast, right? We get a break Friday, maybe a few flurries or light snow showers early. The next storm comes in on Saturday. Now, that storm is going to be another tricky storm. It looks like we're going to get into first snow Friday night and then that snow changes over to rain and even some freezing rain as we go into Saturday morning. Notice the temperature starts Saturday at 15 degrees and then climbs toward 40 degrees. So early in the morning as uh, that warm air starts mixing in uh, above the ground, a little higher in the atmosphere, that warm push will get in here first. It's going to change the snow over to rain, and that's going to hit the ground and will still be below freezing. So the potential will be there for some freezing rain Saturday morning before we can warm the air temperature up down on the ground as we go through the day to change it over to all rain. And it could be heavy rain at times, depending on the storm track. And then it goes back to snow Saturday night and into Sunday morning. And we could see some heavy snow in here Friday night. This is not lake effect. Some heavy snow in here Friday night, thanks to the storm. A wintry mix. And then the rain could see moderate rain. And then back over to snow as we go into Saturday night and Sunday. And then temperatures start falling again next week. So uh, we have about three different things to talk about as far as big topic, weather topics, that is as the week goes on. That's why I wanted to spend a little more time on that tonight. Hopefully this helps you out uh, getting your weekly plans going uh, because it does look like at least a potential of impacting weather for us, uh, impactful in your life, uh, is going to continue over the next seven days. So thanks for stopping in and spending a few minutes here with me uh, for tonight's Web Weather Extra.